Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to solve this puzzle where we have to find the area of this red rectangle here. We are given the areas of the other rectangles and the length of this side, of this side and of this side here. But to be able to find the area of our rectangle we would need the length of this side, I call it A, and the length of this side, I call it B, and to find the area then I would just have to multiply these two lengths, so A times B. I don't have A yet, I don't have B yet, so I cannot find the area immediately, but we could take a look at our other rectangles because we have more information there. So, for example, if we take a look at this rectangle first, we get the area and we get the length of this side. This is enough to be able to find the length of the other side of the rectangle. I call this length x because if the, the area is given, I can just multiply the two sides and get 30. And I can write this as an equation. So 4 times x has to equal 30. And I can solve this equation for x now. I just want to get rid of the 4, so I divide both sides of the equation by 4. This cancels out here, only my x is left, and here I have 30 over 4. So this is the length I was looking for, for the side of my rectangle. And if we take a closer look at this fraction here, we can always find the length of one of the sides of a rectangle by taking the area of the rectangle and divide it by the length of one of the sides. So I just want to make this clear because we have more rectangles and more lengths to find. So this is a faster way by just using this instead of always using this equation here. So we keep that in mind for the other rectangles. But first of all, I would like to reduce this fraction a little bit because um, both numbers are divisible by 2. So 30 over 2 equals 15 and 4 over 2 equals 2. So that we have 15 over 2 in total with smaller numbers for the length of x here. So this is 15 over 2. Now the same with the other rectangles. So to find this length here we now know that we just have to take the area of the rectangle, the 40, and divide it by the length of the, the other side, so divided by 6. We can again reduce this fraction because both numbers are divisible by 2 again. 40 over 2 equals 20 and 6 over 2 equals 3, so in total we have 20 over 3 here for the length of this side. And the same here, we take the area of the rectangle, the 20, and divide it by the length of the other side by the 3 to get the length of the other side of the rectangle. Okay, how does all of this help us now to find A and B? Well, let's start with B. We just found the lengths of all the other sides, right? So we can also say how long this entire side is. It's just 3 plus the 15 over 2. But for B, we don't want to have the length of the entire side, just this tiny bit here. So we can subtract this part from the entire side to get B. So to find B, we just take the entire side, so the 3 
plus the 15 over 2, but this would be too long, so we just subtract this part that we don't want to have in there, the 6, so we subtract the 6, and now we only have to calculate this. My b is then. Maybe I calculate 3 minus 6 first, which gives me negative 3, and then I add the 15 over 2. To add a number to a fraction, I write the 3 as a fraction as well, so 3 over 1. Then the denominators have to be the same. They are not yet, so I have to rename this fraction by multiplying the denominator and numerator by 2 in this case. 1 times 2 equals 2, 3 times 2 equals 6, and now the denominators are the same and I am allowed to add these two fractions. The denominator will stay the same and in the numerator I have negative 6 plus 15. You can also switch these numbers if you want to, if it's easier for you to calculate this. So 15 minus 6 equals 9. So I know my b is of length 9 over 2. And now I only have to find the length of a. But I do it in the same way. I want to find this length here, but I know the length of this entire side, and I don't want to have this part in here for my a. So a equals the entire side, it's the 4, plus the 20 over 3. This is too long, so I subtract this part so I subtract 20 over 3, which is great because this just cancels out and only the 4 is left. So I have found my a, it's of length 4, and now I can go back to the beginning. I wanted to find the area of this rectangle and I can find it by multiplying 4 by 9 over 2 now and I get an area of. Maybe I calculate 4 over 2 first, which gives me 2, and then I have 2 times 9, which equals 18, and this is my area of my red rectangle. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. I wish you a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!